From the NGO sector, you know, we have pointed out and we will be following up with written material uh, to the Prime Minister and his team uh, Friday ahead of their um, cabinet meeting next week um, to highlight, um, you know, self-evident truths, but just, just to underscore it, you know, uh, when you look at marine protected area management and the investment of, of fuel there, I think we're looking at more than 32,000 gallons of, of fuel. But then immediately you also have to look at the fact that uh, the bulk of their budgets are tied to fixed grants. So yeah. if we're not getting access to increased grant fun funding to uh, mitigate the impact of the rising fuel, then you see immediately where that has an impact. Yeah. And I think the last thing anybody would want to see is an inability from uh, protected area management, uh, from enforcement agencies, of not being able to help sustainably manage the resources that we're talking about, because we're talking about hundreds of uh, thousands of acres of marine and terrestrial protected areas that are involved. So looking at the importance of that, not just for the resources and the people who de depend on them, but also because, as we've seen recently, those resources are also playing a role in our external debt and looking at our financial picture overall. And if we lose the ability to properly manage those and enforce those and, and, and safeguard those, then that will have uh, ripple effects elsewhere.